key announcement expected to come out of this trip is approval of Canada's first renminbi trading hub, a move which could make foreign exchange between the two countries cheaper, faster and more attractive. Let's head north to Canada where they're taking, well, their own measures to boost trade with Asia. Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper is expected to announce on Saturday that his country will open up a Chinese currency trading hub. This would be the first renminbi trading hub in North America, in fact, the first one in anywhere in the Americas. Nothing's confirmed yet, but we're expecting an announcement in Beijing on Saturday. And if it goes ahead, it would likely be like the renminbi hubs that we see in London, Frankfurt, Luxembourg, uh, Seoul, and Paris. Um, a lot of people wonder, what is a renminbi trading hub? What does it really mean? A lot of trade already goes on between Canada and China. How would this help? It would essentially get rid of the middlemen. At the moment, any transaction between China and Canada has to go through a brokerage that deals in US dollars or perhaps euros or another currency. By having a trading hub here in Canada, it eliminates that. It makes transactions cheaper, faster, and perhaps more secure. Now, that's welcome news for big industries that do big transactions between these two countries, the energy sector, agriculture, forestry, technology as well. Economists say that it's great for China. It means that they get more access to Canada. It makes it easier to invest here. For Canadians, it makes exporting to China even easier as well. Another exciting prospect for Canada is that it, this, this, if it gets acceleration in, in dealing with China, it lets them move away from the U.S. As you know, Canada is very dependent on the United States for trade, and this would really give a boost to Canadian and Chinese trade and get us away from that dependency on the U.S. This one thing alone won't do it, but it does push us in that direction. So China is now about 8% of our total trade flows, and you'll see that slowly creep up. Maybe the, the pace of increase will be a little bit stronger if we do manage to secure this trading hub. Uh, and, and that is something the government has wanted to see, a little bit more diversification away from the U.S. So this would definitely push us in that direction, and which would certainly be positive, given that China is growing very strongly. Even if it's slower than a few years ago, they're going to be the strongest growing economy for some time. So the big question, Phil, is where, if this goes ahead in Canada, which city will it be in? Most people are saying it's going to be here in Toronto. That's what we're hearing. Although Vancouver had put its own bid in, uh, we saw towards the end of uh, last month that these two cities' bids, they were sort of working together. And we may eventually see, if the Toronto one goes ahead, a second hub start up in Vancouver. So we see one here and one on the West Coast, Phil.